In OpenVSP 326, a new feature was added to two-dimensional cross-section types for body components in which you can now control the area or the height to width ratio or both in addition to the height and width parameters. And so for those of you that are trying to model things like flow through components to where what you really care about is the area of that section, you now have that control without having to set up something like an advanced link or some type of calculation in an API to try and control that stuff under the hood. It's done for you automatically. And let's take a look at a few cross-section types to see this in action. If we come back to section one here of our uh, cross-section sandbox model, we have an ellipse, and this is probably one of the more simple cases. So let's fix the width and the area of this section type now. And as we start to play around with the width, you'll see that the height is being adjusted in order to maintain a constant area inside this shape. So you might say that, well, yeah, an ellipse is a relatively simple shape, but what about something more complex? Let's come back and take a look at a super ellipse. And again, we're going to set the area to be constant. In this case, let's bump it up to four. So the height, of course, is being scaled, but what happens if we start to adjust some other parameters? Let's adjust our M and N exponents in the super ellipse equations and then see how the height is being adjusted in order to maintain this shape. So of course, the, strong, or the smaller the M exponent gets, the sharper this corner is, and in order to maintain that area, this has to get taller. And so if we come in and start to play around with N, again, this is going to shift around. So this is true for any of the combinations of parameters that define the shape of your cross section. This area equation is going through and iteratively solving what the height or the height width ratio need to be in order to make that true. And so this works for other cross section types, say a rounded rectangle. The skew or keystone, all of these are being accounted for, including something like your radius. Now let's set the area and start to play around with the radius here. You can see that again, our height is changing. And so you can see how powerful this can become whenever you're trying to intentionally set the area of a cross section. You can use almost any type of cross section and now you have fine control over the parameters that you need. And I'll give a final demonstration here of how this can work. Let's convert this to an edit curve cross section type and watch what happens. So this has been parameterized here into a rounded rectangle and it initiated everything and set the tangencies for us. But notice that because when we parameterized it, we had area pre-selected, this is again a setting inside edit curve now. This is probably the most complex example where you'll find this, but let's play around with it and find out. Notice that our area is set. So what happens if I drag one of these points and start to move it around? watch how the height, the height of this component is being scaled while I'm dragging this button. Okay, it's not waiting for me to let go and then recalculating what it should be. It is showing you exactly what's happening in real time as this is updating. So let's turn on left and right symmetry and make that even stronger. So you can see how as I'm moving this around, the two dimensional section is being computed and it's maintaining that area as constant. So what you're actually getting is the interior area of this curve in the full you know, Bezier representation of the surface. It is doing it automatically under the hood and it just works. So you as an end user should be able to just say, I want area to be constant. And regardless of the cross section type, except for airfoils, it's going to do exactly what you want. So this is a really interesting and powerful capability for cross sections in OpenVSP and hopefully everybody uses it if you need to and really enjoys it.